very good evening to you. Hello there. It's me, Scotty McClure, and we are, of course, live on Facebook Live. That's the big one, one of the world's top broadcast platforms. Lovely to be with you. Sunday night, nothing gets past me, of course. Sunday, the 11th of June, 2017, and I'm with you only for one hour. One hour of superb, scintillating information, education, and entertainment. This is the big one. If you've just joined us, welcome, 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 I say. You're watching me, Scotty McClure, the world's top broadcaster, broadcasting live to you globally on Facebook Live, the world's top broadcast platform. Welcome, welcome, I say. I hope that you have seen the promo, the short promotional video that I made around 11 o'clock this morning, just to tell you what we are discussing tonight. George Raffin's watching, uh, Gary Crossley, Shug McGinty, Wedge Hashmi, uh, and Robert Devlin is with us. Dinky do to you, Robert. Lovely to see you again. Uh, not working again, Scotty says Wedge. Yes, it's working fine, Wedge, so you will need to sort it out at your end. There we are, everything working fine from this end, Wedge. I can tell you that for nothing. Free gratis. So there you are. Welcome. As I say, it's me, Scotty McClue. If you've never seen me before, if you're an alien life form from another planet, then I am the world's top broadcaster, and we broadcast every Sunday night live on Facebook Live. And, uh, of course, this is our 38th live show. Not bad going for all the doubting Thomases that said, oh, that will never last, and hundreds of thousands of you have seen the Facebook Live programs. Excellent stuff. Right, who have we got? Good evening, Scotty, says Colin Brown. Charles McLaughlin. Good evening, Scotty. Dinky do to you, Charles. Giuseppe Bacchetti is uh, watching. Excellent stuff. Good evening, Scotty. Dinky do, says Andy McClory. A very good evening to you, Andy. Tell everybody about this wonderful program, of course. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 about Scotty McClue. Live just for you, saying Dinky Doo on Facebook Live, Sunday nights, 10 o'clock sharp. Jim Stephen Gibb, Dinky Doo, Scotty, are we tuned in the squeeze box to start the night? Is it working, says Colin? Yes, working. Fine, Colin. Thumbs up, everybody. No problem at all. All that stuff. Hearing, speaking. Fine, excellent stuff. Bob Holly says, hi, good evening, Scotty says, Laura Lawson. Good evening to you, Laura, my dear. Lovely to have you with us. It's not working, says Bob Holly. Yes, 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 it's working. Everybody is watching. Can you hear me loud and clear, folks? Write in, yes, if you can, and then we will know that the Doubting Thomases have to sort their end out. That's what it's all about. Now, it may have escaped your notice, it didn't escape mine, but uh, on Thursday, Thursday the 8th of June, we had a general election in the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. And that was called by Mrs. Theresa May, the British Prime Minister, because what she wanted to do, evening Scotty, I look forward to it, says Ben. Uh, oh yes, says Sharon Holmes, the two kisses. Yvonne Boyd McLennan, yes, it's working. Scott George, yes, yes, it's working, says Ivan Cohen. Everybody says, it's working, Scotty. It's not a problem. Excellent, there we go. So, uh, we had this general election on Thursday the 8th of June, and all of you who turned out to vote will have cast your vote. Some of you may not have turned out. Tut, 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 tut. Tut, tut, people died to get us all franchised and enfranchised. I say, yes, it's working, says I, of course it is. Uh, Big McContour says, yes. Nivag says it's not working. Well, Nivag, I'm sorry to say that you are not correct on this occasion. So, we had the general election, and what an interesting result. Mrs May wanted to strengthen her hand to get a mandate to go and rip us out of the EU. And, um, of course, she, as far as I understand, was a Remainer. She wanted to remain in the EU. She said she wouldn't call a snap election. She did. I think she's going to have to call another one. You'll call Mrs May if you're calling elections. When will you be in for your fish supper next hour, says Robert Devlin? Ah, Robert, I missed you. I was in last Saturday and saw the wonderful... 
Alberto at Alberto's Fish and Chip Shop in Thornley Bank in Glasgow. The finest fish and chips in the country. So there we are. Uh, Gary Crossell's watching. Carol McNamara, refresh ne veg, says Carol. Carol is a very sound lady. I've noticed she's a lady of great wisdom and um, she posts a lot of sense. So Carol, I'm a big fan of yours. I can tell you that straight as a die. Right. So as I said this morning, um, the election, a lot of losses for the Conservative Party, for the government, a lot of gains for Her Majesty's opposition, one or two losses for the Scottish National Party in Scotland, but that's because it's a national election. Now, please, please, please do not be conned into thinking it was anything to do with calling Indiref. Right, Ms. Sturgeon needs to stick to her guns. She needs to press on with independence for Scotland because that's axiomatic. There you are. There's a good word for you. Axiomatic. Check that one out and you'll find it fits perfectly to the scenario. But uh, independence for Scotland is axiomatic. Scotland has had a ball and chain round its ankles from the Westminster Parliament who have just been take, 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 take all the time for 310 years and it's time for Scotland to become wealthy again to feed our children to rebuild our housing to improve our schools and our schooling to strengthen our health service which is separate right fully devolved there we are tried still the same says the vag Corbin did well says Tony K yes aha I was off boo hoo See you next week, says Robert Devlin. Dinky do, Robert. Uh, no advertising, McClure. Have you had a free sausage supper out of that, says Robert Bain? Certainly not. I have most certainly not had a free sausage supper. I've had a fish supper. So there we are. Uh, the Royals are the ball and chains of Robert Bain. Robert, stop your nonsense. That is a distraction. Never, ever, ever interfere with the crown. That is is totally separate. You interfere with the crown, independence gets kicked into the long grass. You leave the crown fully, 100% intact as is. Independence is purely a parliamentary thing and there are no complications and there's nothing to stop Scotland being in charge of its own destiny. I was wondering today if independence is perhaps too uh, emotive a word for it. It's really just a change of management. It's saying, can we have people who actually understand Scotland running it from Edinburgh, from Holyrood? Uh, Kipper Sapar, more likes as Bobby McLaughlin. Uh, Vera O'Hara is watching. Dinky do to you, Vera. Lovely to have you with us. Well said about the Crown Scotties, says Sharon Holmes, and three lovely kisses. Absolutely, Sharon. You do not interfere with the monarchy, you don't muck about with that. This it depending. Uh, this is not depending on any race, creed, colour, background, religion, any of that. We're all Jock Tamsons Bairns. Scotland is what matters here, and its economic prospects. Right? Go up and down the River Clyde and say, where are the shipyards? Go out to Lanarkshire and say, where are the steel mills? Go to Aberdeen and say, where is the fish market? Where are all the wealthy farmers? Oh, by the way, <coughs> if one thing's come out of this election, it's do not let northeast of Scotland farmers go to the polls with a drink in them. So there you are. I think that they suddenly go, oh, the SNP will soon clip their wings. All that sort of nonsense. Just a lot of nonsense. A wee bit of late for the firm payment, maybe. Uh, that sort of carry on. And of course, they've gone and voted Tory, uh, which has uh, kept the government in power. The Tories would have been toast. They would have been gone if the Scots had stuck to plan A and, uh, and uh, voted for the Scottish party. Exactly, says Sharon Holmes. Scotland must rise now and be the nation again, says Laura Lawson. Absolutely. Uh, what have we got from Robert? Independence is now a pipe dream. Robert, do not fall for that. Remember, a lot of you fall for what's called the MSM, the mainstream media. 
these are essentially the organs of unionism. So they're telling you all sorts of nonsense, right? It's all crafted in such a way that your wee tiny brain thinks, oh, maybe independence is in the back burner. Maybe we should give it up and just do what we're told. No, 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 newsflash. That's why you want to listen to me, Scotty McClure. If you'd listen to me, Scotland would already be independent economically, right? Uh, not working for me again, but I'll watch it later, says Angie Thompson. Angie, it's working for everybody else, I can tell you. Shari B is watching Michael McGuigan. I don't see poor farmers. Do you? Well, you very rarely see a poor farmer, I have to say. Um, so there we go. But uh, they work very, very hard. But something just went awry in their wee minds. And they thought, maybe we'll just vote for the opposition and completely... Uh, make a mess of the whole thing. But anyway, it doesn't matter. It's a blip and Scotland will gain its independence. I mean, look at the arrogance of Mrs May. Now is not the time. I beg your pudding, madam. So there we are. Right. Uh, thank God with you to take on the MSM, Sir Laura Lawson. Yes. And Laura, that's why I'm saying to people, you know, everybody looks at my GoFundMe. Some people have been very, very generous. But a lot of people pass by on the other side. They go, oh, well, no giving that to him, you know, and all the rest of it. We need you all to revisit that and say, Scotty McClure, he's definitely worth a pound of my money or a fiver of my money. And I'm going to give him it right now. So there we are. Go to GoFundMe.com forward slash Scotty hyphen McClure and pop something in with your debit card. And don't pass by on the other side, because what I'm attempting to do, you'll see lots of broadcasts with me explaining it in no uncertain terms, what I'm attempting to do here. I want Scotland to have an independent media, right, which has no agenda and no bias. It's purely for Scotland. So there we are. Um, right, Shelly B and nine others have shared the video. Yes, let's have a share because time flies when you're enjoying yourself. And it's amazing how quick it goes. Ten past ten is the time. Eleven minutes past ten, I think it is. And if we can share, 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 share. Thank you to every single one of you for all your sharings during the week. I know you must get fed up with me popping up, but you're not afraid of work. And it's nothing to click share and i love when it says 142 people have liked your video but i want to see 142 people have loved your video and 142 people have shared your video all right the sharing is so important guys simon off is watching have i said your name right simon o-u-g-h simon Och. so there we are alfred james wright congratulations um, oh, he's congratulating MPs and all the rest of it. Alfred James Wright, you know we're not a political program. We may discuss politics, but we are not party political. Uh, so there we are. Have I said it right? Alfred James Wright, you were arguing with me, but it doesn't matter what politics a party has. I mean, it surprises me. Why are there unionist parties in a Scottish Parliament? I find that very, very strange. Unionist parties in a Scottish Parliament. So everybody in Scotland should be rooting for Scotland and saying we're all, regardless of party, backing independence. Had the Labour Party in Scotland backed independence, they would not be wandering about in the wilderness right now, you know, without a name or an idea. Labour sold Scotland, says Shug McGinty. I watched them do it. Gordon Brown came up. He was the salesperson of the time. You can see the speech on YouTube. And, uh, you know, he sold Scotland out, you know. Uh, so there we are. Um, out of here, says Patricia Agnes Hevel. Here, says Patricia Agnes Hevel. So out of here and here, Patricia. We're not quite following you, my dear, but if you can tell us a bit more. Politics are ruining Scotland, says Robert Devlin. No, they're not, Robert. And they're not divisive either. So all this talk, this is what I'm saying. Let's just analyse and make sense of the so-called mainstream media. When somebody tells you that uh, everybody's fed up with independence, I've never heard anybody say they're fed up with it. Never, ever, right? 
They're sick of independence. Never, ever, ever heard any of that. Sturgeon not doing well. Never, ever, ever seen any evidence to that. Scotland's never been so well run. I uh, was sorry to see that Alex Salmond um, lost his seat to the other night. And also Angus Robertson. They need to get back into the saddle, these guys, because these are great heavyweight politicians. Alex Salmond is probably one of the finest politicians we've had in history. He would have given Winston Churchill a run for his money, uh, you know, had he been around. I mean, Alex Salmond is in the mould of Tom Johnston and people like that. Um, who else? Tony Benn, another great guy, had a lot of time for. Exactly, Scotty. Why are they in Scotland, says Shug? Um, Bobby Grace is watching. Dinky doo, Bobby Grace. Eh? Lovely to hear from you. And I hope everything is going well. A very, very fine businessman. Done a great amount of wonderful things for Scotland and uh, for sport in Scotland. The SNP lost so many seats. Does that not mean a bad night, Sir Robert Devlin? No, it doesn't, Robert. And I shall put this into proportion for you. Here's why it's a blip. The last election, they won 56 seats out of 59, right? 56 seats. That was 50 seats more than they had. If I remember correctly, they had six seats during the referendum. So there you are. And they just became so popular. Every single Scot wants independence, but some of them lack confidence. If you're voting against independence, it's because you don't have the knowledge. You don't have the facts and figures. Now, that's no slight on you, by the way. All I'm saying is avail yourself of the facts and figures, and suddenly the light will come on in your head. And you will think, why have I not been voting for independence? It makes complete sense. Some people say, oh, I don't like the SNP. That's nothing to do with it. They are vehicular in independence. They're standing up for Scotland. They are doing a superb job. But all parties should be getting behind independence. If the Labour Party had got behind independence, they may well have been in power in Scotland. If some people hadn't voted for the Conservatives the other night, the government would have fallen. It would have gone. Tories would have been toast, gone, out, finished. <laughs> All that sort of stuff. Scotty, uh, is it worth a fortune? But can we talk about more than Scotland? Steve, of course we can. We're touching on it tonight because of the um, IndyRef2 thing. People thinking, oh, I haven't got rid of that. You don't want rid of that. That's your winner. That is your get out of jail free card. Okay, so there you go. But we can talk about anything. The whole of the UK. The next election will be between Boris and Corbyn, and Corbyn will win. And the whole of the UK will be happy in a socialist utopia. Well, it's better than being in a dystopia, isn't it? Better than being in a dystopia. Sorry for spraying that. Uh, Ian Walker's watching. Dinky do. Uh, if you don't have opposition, then you have a North Korea type state, one colour or voice is very bland and boring. Bobby McLaughlin, I could not agree more with you. You're absolutely 100%. Nobody has ever said, excuse me a second, nobody has ever said that we should never have uh, more than uh, one party around. Nobody's ever said that. But we need to get it right and we need to watch because the mainstream media ever since the Iraq war have become self-like. They have become propaganda-like and that's unacceptable. Hello, Black Labrador. Right. Uh, good morning, Scotty from Australia. This is Erica. How are you? I'm fine, Cobba. Absolutely fine, Erica. Lovely to have you with us. And dinky you do Black Labrador. Watch the lighting, please. There we are. And um, what else have we got? What would you do if Nicola Sturgeon became a taxi driver? Would you still support her? Of course I would. Listen, one of the great joys of being a Scot is that you don't subscribe to the class system. I have met absolutely everybody in this country, right, that you would want to say hello to in the so-called la -di da crowd. And never, ever a problem. In fact, it's a real eye-opener. And the Scots don't get in for the class thing. That's why they ran the empire for Britain. The Scots ran it. It was effectively the Scottish empire. If you look at the big, big names 
British India Steamship Company, uh, McKinnon from Campbelltown, you know, uh, Peninsula and Orient, all these great big companies, Cunard, etc. You can trace them right back to Scots. So there you go. Um, uh, fine, thanks. It's good to have you on, says Erica. Erica, great to be with the world and lovely to know that everybody's dinky do out there. I say dinky do to you. Have we got enough light? So there we go. You can never have too much light, I say. Um, Marvellous stuff. Uh, we have to watch, of course, we don't get any bond on the camera. Um, I can't watch again this week. Not Wi-Fi. Retried iPad and iPhone and can only get the same two seconds over and over again, says Dan McWilliams. Try again, Dan. Uh, get everything knocked down and see what is what. I think I'll move that away, actually. Was that better? There we go. A bit too bright. Do you think there'll be a new leader of the Tory party soon, says Sean Marriott? Well, Sean, I'm surprised that Mrs. May didn't actually say I'm stepping down as leader. You know, I'm surprised at that, that she thinks she can tough it out. I mean, good on her, you know, if she thinks she can do that. But I don't think it's wise because, uh, you know, she's seriously damaged for that. She was the one that came out and called the election. Everybody got very excited and then boom, you know. And when it goes boom, I mean, you look at Alex Salmond. He did what's known as the decent thing. I was very sorry that he did, but he resigned um, because he hadn't delivered independence for Scotland. And I don't think he needed to resign, but he thought it was the decent thing to do. You know, so you've got to look at that. And, um, you know, perhaps you should think about it. Boris stood up and said he was not the one to lead the country when uh, when David Cameron left, when you'd all the Brexit. David Cameron, whatever you think of David Cameron, he did what he thought was the decent thing. He stepped down. So, you know, I think Mrs. May should certainly be considering her position. There's no doubt about that. Uh, so there we are. Thoughts on Boris possibly as the next leader? Robert, um, when I was interested in conservatism uh, many moons ago, when it was a patrician party, you had the likes of Lord Heseltine in there, Geoffrey Howe, uh, you know, great characters like that, George Younger, um, a lot of Scots around there uh, at the time. And it was a, a very much a patrician party. John Major, I was a great fan of John Major. And you had all, thank you. And you had all that going on. Now, um, it's changed completely. Um, although John Major came after Thatcher, you know, we had to have somebody in decent. Thatcher caused terrible, 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 terrible suffering throughout the land, you know, I mean, she really was not good news at all. I'm sorry, I didn't really buy into that. Um, so they are, Scotty, do you think Theresa May will be walking down the Shank Hill Road on July the 12th? Well, she may well be invited to walk down the Shank Hill Road on July the 12th. Uh, whether or not she takes uh, that offer up is not for me to say. That's entirely between her and, uh, and the DUP. Uh, so there we go. Scotty, I'm gutted after the election result. Nickel in the SNP damaged. Momentum needed to win and Indireft has gone for years to come. SNP must make for a more compelling case for independence. Gordon, you are talking complete and utter nonsense, right? There's no damage done to Indireft at all. Anything that you hear that could be perceived as damage to Indiref, you'll see it flowing from the lips of other people who have an interest in not having Indiref. There were journalists paid a lot of money at the time of the referendum to try and deliver a no result, right? So we need to start taking the mainstream media with a sack of salt. You can trust me. You can trust Scotty McClue. I won't tell you fibs. I'll give you facts. That's what I do. I don't have an agenda or anything like that. I'm interested in the public being informed, being educated, having knowledge and understanding of whatever it is we are talking about. It happens to be politics tonight. It could be Gardner Diesel's 
and I would have you on, Gordon, to explain to us about these wonderful setups, these beautiful heavy oil engines. Boom, 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 boom. A wee question. What would your favourite subject be to talk about one night, Robert Devlin? Gardner Diesels. I mean, a lovely, lovely subject. We could chat about that. The Clyde's Debirth. Politics and social things, single mothers, taxi drivers, all these things. Corbyn wants nothing to do with the Nats, says Bobby McLaughlin. Yes, I'd need to have a word with him about that. I think that although he's been around a long time, and I saw a brilliant um, video of him in the House of Commons, the great Tony Benn was on his hind legs speaking at the Gulf War. And say, what are we doing? What are we thinking about? Why are we giving our children computer games where people get killed? All that sort of thing. Talking complete sense. And um, to his right, if you're looking forward in the in the front benches of the House of Commons, um, or sorry, the, 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 the mid benches, I should say, um, was um, the great Tam DL. There you are. He was sitting there, Tam DL of the bins. And uh, wonderful character, um, not so good for the military in the 60s and 70s. You know, he sort of opposed every bullet. Um, but um, Tam Dale was there, and behind him, a youthful Jeremy Corbyn, listening to his every word. So there you go. So it's just a question. That's a conversation with Mr. Corbyn to say, come to Scotland and have Scotland explained to you and then you will see what we're trying to do here. So there we go. For many indirects, as many as you like, as many as it takes, says Fred Walton. Absolutely, Fred. Independence will happen. Uh, Robert Devlin says, your favourite politician and why? I've got to say I was a great fan of John Major, great fan of Tony Benn, wonderful, wonderful, clever, clever, clever man. Um, I quite like our old chum, um the uh, the member for Bolsover. I quite like him as well. Uh, so there you go. Lord Hesseltine, big fan of Lord Hesseltine. George Younger, I like George Younger. Fred, we have a right to all these indirects, unlike snap general elections. So there you are, once in a generation, and yet we, we want another one. Theresa May, I will not be calling a snap election. Boom, snap election. News flash, everybody. Now, can I say one other thing, right? And although it's me that's saying it, it's from the heart, I do mean this. Um, if you, you would find that every senior journalist, every pundit, everybody on the telly and radio got an absolute shock when the election results came in, even although the, the, the exit poll was pretty well on the money, right? But they got a shock with what actually happened, particularly with Mr. Corbyn's advance. Um, so that took them by surprise. Now, had we had a national radio phone in hosted by Scotty McClue, no less, that would because we would have got the will of the people, we would have understood what. So there you go. Uh, so there you go, Fred. Right, uh, Scotty Dinky says Luke Jones, Sheral Bagabra, uh, Gabra. How do we how do we how do we actually pronounce that? Robert, it always has to be Nicola Sturgeon for Scotland, says Shug McGinty. Absolutely. You do not buy politicians like that. They are hewn from the rocks of Scotland. So there you are. You can't say to somebody, if you be such a wonderful politician, we'll pay you a fabulous salary. You can't say that. Alex Hammond, Nicola Sturgeon, wonderful, wonderful politicians because their heart is in it. They're not just saying, look at me. There's none of that. They're actually saying, look at Scotland. Look at what we can do for it. They're real people. They get hugs. Did you ever see, you know, Mrs. May getting a hug when she was out campaigning, when she was up in Crathers and things like that? Uh, so, keep having NDRFs, even if it divides the country, like the last time. Derek McLaren, it did not divide the country one bit. That, again, is an MSM myth. There is nothing divisive about it. Either we're having independence or we're not. 
If we're not, it's got to be for the right reasons. It's not got to be people with a chip on their shoulder saying, I think I'll just have a go at voting for the Tories this time for no reason. Right? So there is nothing wrong about Indiref. It is not damaged. If ever Scotland needed to be independent, now's the time. So there you go. Would you not stand as an independent candidate for your local area, says Robert Devlin. Robert, I've been asked this many times, usually by the editors of the newspapers, I have to say, or the bosses in television and radio. But in actual fact, I'm beginning to think it's something I might look at. I'm quite maxed out work-wise at the moment, so there's lots happening. And uh, I'm very, very busy um, up until uh, the end of July uh, with various projects so but i may well look at becoming a parliamentarian uh, it's something if there was a vacancy happened to arise and uh, somebody thought that i may be suitable but the only thing about it is i'd have to eat a bit of humble pie as you do and i quite like telling it like it is you know what i mean um, it educated the country, says Anna McGugin. It did, Anna. It was very, very educational, that election. Who's your tip for the next MP group leader at Westminster, Scotty? Look, I wouldn't like to speculate. It wouldn't be fair to do that. Obviously, they're going to... I, I think we can forget about Indiref, but only maybe for a week, right? Or don't forget about it. Just go quiet for a week until everything gets sorted out. I was so taken with uh, John Swinney talking on uh, the radio the other day uh, after the election and saying that, uh, yes, of course we'll take everything on board and of course we'll reflect and of course we'll uh, see what's to be done. And I thought, that's a real politician here because the rest were trying to tough it out. Oh, no, 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 I don't think, I don't think she's damaged at all. You know, all that kind of stuff. Derek Ammon Falkirk, we need independence, says Chuck McGinty. John O'Rourke's watching. Can I rewind or watch this later? The computer crashed as you discussed my question, says Derek McLaren. Yes, you can see it. We'll upload it onto YouTube, Derek, and you'll get that later. Not a problem. Um, so there we are. What time have we got? Heavens above. Time flies when you're loving it. Um, half past ten, guys. Get sharing now. Share, 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 share. Share, 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 share. Can everybody also type? I know you're not afraid of work. Type into your keyboards or your devices. I'm watching Scotty McClue. Right click on the address at the top of the page, the URL, and send that out with it. And uh, let the world know. Um, so... Yes, of course you can rewind it. Not a problem at all. You would have my vote always, says Robert Devlin. Yes, as an independent candidate, I would tell the people what I was doing. I mean, the first thing I would do is probably cancel Brexit with a proviso. I would go and see them in Europe and have a conversation and say, look, I'm looking for a much better deal. I'm looking for a deal for Scotland as well. All right? And we don't want to be paying through the nose, but we don't mind giving you a few quid, but we want our fishing and our farming working again. All right? So that's what I'd say. We'll come, we'll stay with you, we'll come back, we'll rip up that letter or whatever it was, which was the, um, the, the uh, outcome of a cat fight in the Conservative Party. Uh, that's gone. Have you noticed the UKIP lot have gone as well? They've, they've just gone. So, uh, you know, there's really no need for Brexit now. Um, 23 of you have shared the video. That's fantastic, guys. Share, 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 I say. Uh, lots to discuss. Now, if you've just joined us, a very warm welcome. It's Scotty McClue you're watching, the world's top broadcaster. And we're live on Facebook Live. For those of you who have Twitter accounts, follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Periscope, the broadcast side, and um, make sure you're there. We've got lots of followers on Periscope. We do a Periscope broadcast as well. Very often we do an APRE show. This is show number 38 of Scotty McClure's Facebook Live shows. Welcome, 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 I say. Thank you to every single one of you for your wonderful and outstanding support over the year. It has just been amazing. 38 shows. 
and uh, all the promos, all the different videos, midweek pop-ups, hundreds of thousands of you have now seen the Scotty McClue uh, in vision. And that's what I think that's going to happen. We can do it in sound now. There's something I saw last week. It was Facebook saying, do you want to continue in sound? Westminster will end up as a circus with all those clowns trying to run it, says Michael McGuigan. Michael, I don't like to call people clowns because obviously a clown is a very, very specialist thing, a highly professional thing. Um, I used to go out with a lady clown and she said to me as we were going out, she said, Scotty, can we take your car, please? Because if you start mine up, there's a clouds of smoke, the doors fall off and the lights start to flash. So I said, yes, of course. Um, brown, Robert, every time we change of subject, red or brown sauce on a roll and sausage. But, you know, I like both, actually, but I would say brown probably just takes the biscuit. Um, when I was through in Edinburgh, uh, you know, where do we go? Uh, you know, if, uh, uh, you know, without humour, where would you go? You know, I mean, Edinburgh. Um, but uh, no, no, you're joking, joking, capital city. Don't start, don't start writing in. Um, no, and uh, they don't do salt on the chips, they do sauce. Uh, so there you go. So uh, Sorry, they don't do vinegar. They do sauce. They do salt on the chips. But they, they say um, salt and sauce. And, go, oh, and they put the brown sauce on your uh, on your fish and chips. Very nice. Because I'm not a big vinegar fan, to be honest with you. Uh, you're made for this format, Scotty, says Carol McNamara. Carol, thank you very much for that. And I'll tell you for why. Because at the start of it, people said, no, nah, I can't see anybody being interested in you sitting there with your big face talking away. And I thought, no, just leave it some plush. You need the phones to make it work. No, not at all. This is a separate thing. It is a separate format. And I think what we've done, we've found a niche on Facebook and everyone is talking about it. This is the start. I mean, I'm not the most beautiful person in the world. Let's have it straight. I'm aware of that. I can actually see myself in front of me at the moment you know and it's so good of you to put up with that but you know you could have a glamour puss or all the rest of it but would they give you the facts would they tell you the truth would they interact with you would they bring 40 years of broadcast experience to it that's what i'm asking you uh, so there you are so i think what we've done is we've made a fantastic format and um, it's the future for television. You look at all your um, television stuff that you've got. Very, very, very few exciting or interesting programs. And I've actually said to the tele, thank you. I've said to the television bosses, won't you try it for half an hour at night? Half past 10 till 11 o'clock, half 11 till midnight. Scotty McClue, live just for you, dinky do. And they go, ooh, ooh. I spoke to one recently who said, oh, no, I, I think we've got all our bases covered. Thank you, Scotty. But thank you all the same. Ooh, ooh. You know, big panic. And of course, everybody, these people have never actually sat down and talked to their audience. And this is what you've got to do. You've got to say, we need a free flow between us and understanding. That's basic communication. What's not to like? Right, um, can I just thank you, Scotty? You made my Sunday night a pat on the back, says Robert. Oh, Robert, bless you, a pat on the back to you, lad. Where's Sandy Howden tonight, says Alfred James Wright. Ooh, I think Sandy will be, will be just having a quiet moment for, a moment for quiet reflection, I think, on what's been going on. Uh, it's time for me, Scotty. It's great to listen to a person of wisdom. Take care. Look forward to seeing you next time, says Erica. Erica, my darling, in Australia, we say thank you for watching and uh, you take care of yourself. Uh, fantastic. Uh, so there you go. Ha 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 ha. Alfred James says, Shug McGinty, excuse me a second. Quick bit of um, personal uh, care. Uh, uh, just uh, what we call um, a comfort break. <laughs> so they were tidying myself up a wee bit. A comfort break. Yeah, so there you go, folks. Yeah, a quick a quick mock doon. I listen to community radio in Macar most of the time, says Carol. Uh, Pulse or Sunny G, the other stations are operated by robots, literally. A lot of the time they are, Carol, these big franchises. 
uh, that is a, a play out system being a program controller nowadays the days when i was a program controller you hired and fired the djs you virtually ran the station when the managing director did the sales all that sort of thing <coughs> i've been managing director i've been program controller director of programs the whole lot and you were a busy busy person but now you're just sitting putting songs into a computer and then uh, pressing next or play or whatever it is and away it goes are you putting the wood spice on there yes 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 the wood mouse a wee, <laughs> a wee touch of that excellent stuff uh, you take care scotty says erica erica i'm going to come to australia and do your big late night phone in right across australia that would be tremendous we need to waken australia up there and get the people talking properly what a great phone in that would make um so there we go uh excellent stuff now what what are we doing time wise here let me just take a quick check a quick check yes we've got 20 minutes excellent stuff let's use it well and use it wisely so this week if you've just joined me by the way you're watching scotty mcclue those of you who've been with us since 10 o'clock sharp you'll be saying what's he telling us that for but it's very important to ident what's happening there because people can switch on the facebook and say who's this guy in the hat that pops up every week what's the big attraction and uh, so there we are um you're welcome anytime says erica thank you i say give scotty a dinky do key to scotland <coughs> marvelous stuff i thank you for that very very important now can we keep sharing folks share 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 ron stewart's just joined us the dinky do ron lovely to have you with us very very much appreciated and uh, i enjoy that now uh, we were talking earlier let me just see what's going on here no, i don't know where i put that i was going to oh yes we're talking earlier about uh, a wee tune uh, on the box so i thought i'd give you a wee tune uh, here and uh, i have the box for you uh, just as a an interlude do you remember an interlude do you remember the potter's wheel i think you'll all be too young to remember the potter's wheel on the telly <laughs> Tune for you, my dears. Keep you all out of mischief. We tune in the box. Scotty McClure plays the box. Now, if you'd like to hear, if you go onto YouTube and uh, you look up Scotty McClure plays the mermaid, it's one of my own compositions, and it's a lovely, lovely story. It's about a fisherman fishing off the west coast of Scotland, and he catches a mermaid in his net, and uh, he falls in love with her and takes her back to his fisherman's cottage but of course eventually um although they're so much in love um she has to go because she's got to go back to her own people and it's called farewell to the land of the mermaid so you'll get it on their youtube if you go to the scotty mcclue youtube channel and you put in scotty mcclue plays the mermaid and uh, I'll, I'll play it on the box for you as well it's a lovely wee tune that i composed dare i say also i've written a book i've written a thriller haven't finished it yet and it's called deliver us from evil so if you go to the youtube channel scotty mcclue youtube channel and uh, put in scotty mcclue deliver us from evil up will come chapter one of the thriller see what you think excellent stuff uh, scotty you have the x factor says robert <laughs> hi big man says ron stewart dinky do i would love to be a judge on the x factor actually because uh, i have a tremendous uh, background in music and drama so i would get in there and see what's what uh yes hi to ron stewart dinky do lovely to have you with us now if you're watching scotty mcclue throughout the globe do tell us where you are based so put in if you're watching in mexico we had uh, erica there in australia with marcy in australia and uh, all that sort of thing um so uh, do let us know where you're watching if we've got our friends on the other side of the pond there if you're watching in america we will widen the topics to discuss what you want to talk about that is not a problem 
Uh, this Thursday, the 8th of June, we had a general election called by Mrs. Theresa May, the British Prime Minister, Prime Minister of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. And um, it looks like it all backfired. Actually, she was going to do it to strengthen her hand because Nicola, I think, had um, uh, probably got her back up when Nicola said, I have a mandate from the people and you do not. Um, I think she thought, I'll get myself a mandate from the people. And um, she hasn't. So. Oh, at least said he's his mended, I say. Uh, Scotland loves Steve Burrows. No, no, we're not discussing Scotland, Steve Burrows. What would you like to discuss? You could tell me, guys, remember this is your show. It may have my name on the Scotty McClue show, but that's purely for identification purposes, right? This is your show, make no mistake. And if you've got something to say, you come on and you say it. The other thing is you can Skype in Scotty.McClue. If you're a Skype person and you've got access to Skype, hit the button now, Scotty.McClue, and come on and have a chit chat. That would not be a problem. Um, I'm on the other side of the Barheed Dam, says Carol McNamara. Ah, you're one of our long distance listeners, Carol. Excellent stuff. I do understand. And I also understand why you listen to community radio. I mean, community radio uh, is, is excellent stuff. I started the third radio station in central Scotland 27 years ago last week. Is that not amazing? 27 years last week. Central FM, it's called. And it's still on air and successful to this day. Um, so there you are. And starting a radio station, it was very interesting because all your critics appear. They go, huh, I bet, I mean, huh, oh, 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 I bet, have you heard this? Have you heard that? And of course, they couldn't do it themselves. So there you are. How many people do you know who have started radio stations, who have owned radio stations, who have run radio stations, and they've got no side to them? So there you are, not the radio stations, the person who's done it. Um, and what actually happened, we said to them, look, yesterday you did not have a radio station. When you switched your radio on this morning, did you hear a radio station? Yes, there you are. That's what this man's done for you. Dinky do. <laughs> right, 27 years and counting. Marcy Puffin is a great lass, Scotty. She sent me brownies from Zumbos. Brilliant. So there you are. What are Zumbos? Tell us more. Shug, we want to hear a bit more from you, La. Uh, so there you are. So, should Scotty McClure stand as an MP uh, or an MSP or an MEP? Would you like to see me taking part in the parliamentary process? Would you like to see me part of the national government, of the Scottish government? of the European Commission. You tell me. I'd love to have a chat with you, Scotty, says Steve. Steve, you're very, very welcome. You know, we may have a Skype at some point. I don't know if you're a Skype man. And uh, and we can have a chit-chat and see what's what. I need to get back to somebody who runs a radio station because I've had a lot of approaches from radio stations, not from television stations yet, I have a lot of approaches from radio stations saying, can we take a feed of the Sunday night show because we love it. It's brilliant. So um, I'll be looking at that. Tech issues tonight, says Mark Cruden. You've had them, Mark, or we've had them. I don't seem to have had any tech issues. We wondered if there might be some kind of limitation because of the popularity of the program, but I don't think so. Uh, I've sent you a message, Scotty, showing what's happening, says Dan McWilliams. Brilliant stuff, Dan. That would be very, very good. I shall look at that uh, when we finish up tonight. I've had a hug from Morsi Puffin when she visited her homeland and a tea and chat in my house, says Shug. Fantastic. She sounds a great person, Shug. Um, so there we are. I've sent you the message, Scotty. Good. We'll have a look at that. Mark Cruden, dinky do to you. Lovely to have you with us. I don't know what you're thinking of what happened Thursday. I think a lot of people on Friday morning thought, what just happened there? What happened? Especially Mrs. May. I think she would be thinking, what happened? But then again, I don't know what she was thinking because I'm not Mrs. May and I'm not party to that. I see that her advisors have uh, resigned. I was wondering last week about the quality 
of advice in calling that general election. What I honestly thought it looked like, and this is just a thought, this is purely an idea, an opinion, but when she came out to the microphone uh, just after 11 o'clock in the morning, she called the election, um, I thought to myself, aye, aye, this has been a cabinet meeting, probably a bit fraught, and it's been a back me or sack me type of thing, you know what I mean? Uh, she's thought, I'll go to the country, just go to the country. But um, that, that, that wasn't particularly wise as it turned out. But I have to say it was quite brave to do it. But the campaign was, uh, the Conservatives campaign was dreadful. Dreadful. I wouldn't have let that out of my office. So there we are. People would have been called in and we would have had words. There would have been a, what we call a conversation with Scotty McClure. Uh, Scotty, tell Zumbo patisserie to sell my chocolate brownies, says Shug. Ah, so Zumbo's is the patisserie. Dinky do, we say. Love to Zumbo's. I uh, can be a wee bit naughty. I like to sample the odd patis. Uh, so there you go. You need a knighthood for radio services, says so Shug. <laughs> services to broadcasting. 40 years. Arise, says Scotty McClue. I'm honestly not bothered either. We have a very senior person said to me quite recently, do you, um, do you feel that, you know, you, you've missed out on decorations, OBE, CBE, knighthood, that sort of thing? I said, no, not particular. I don't actually give it a thought. I said, I see so many people who have got them who are thoroughly miserable. You know, the long faces. Uh, so there we go. But I'm very glad to know that the British Empire is in good hands. <laughs> uh, my flabber was well and truly gasted on the 9th, says John Arook. I'm not surprised, John. I think everyone's flabber was gasted. I think a lot of people were ag -assed, uh, you know, about what had been going on. Scotty, can you appeal to the internet providers to gear up for the extra demands on a Sunday night? This program is a lifeline for millions of us. Says Gordon Sterling, Gordon, I say to you, dinky do, I will do my best. This is why I've asked people to go fund me, to give me a bit of clout with the providers and with the equipment providers. What do you think May's idea was not to debate? I think it was a big mistake. Alfred James Wright, I am 100% in agreement with you. I actually tweeted that if you can't turn up to a television debate, you don't deserve a single vote. And I think the television companies should actually have said to her, listen, lovey, we're not going to give you any coverage if you're not going to come and, and even do us the courtesy of appearing because we've got a franchise here that goes out to the nation. You should be on here all the time, telling everybody, selling your ideas, telling us what you want to do. What are your plans for this country? Not hiding in the cupboard under the stairs or whatever you're doing. And um, that really shocked me because I'll be honest with you, if you're going in for leadership or for being a public figure in this day and age, it really hinges on how good a performer are you on the radio and telly. That's what it hinges on. How good a performer are you on radio and telly? And I spend a lot of time with very senior people coaching them for radio and telly. You know, and Mrs. May would have been very welcome to get in touch with Scotty McClure and get, you know, properly advised. So that would not have been a problem, I have to say. But uh, I don't understand why she decided. And then she also had to go at Jeremy Corbyn. Well, oh, I think he's more interested in the number of television appearances. That's not Jeremy Corbyn's game at all. If there's one man that I would probably stake my bonnet on the fact that that's not his favourite task. But he does it, and he's very good at it, right? And he's better and better at it all the time. Definitely leadership material. There's no doubt about that, regardless of your politics. That man is a leader. Because uh, I found out recently about, I think somebody once said to me they didn't think I was a manager. Somebody else said, are you kidding? Have you ever seen him manage? You see? And it's it's a form of sort of servant leadership, you know? Because leadership is really getting ordinary people to do extraordinary things. That's what leadership 
actually is. So there you are. Um, and, and servant leadership is more or less showing that you can do it yourself. So if a young person said to me, yeah, but Scotty, you don't understand about how difficult it is to appear in front of a camera. I'll say, well, what do you want me to show you? And I'll show you. You know? So there you are. Are you Celtic or Rangers, Scotty? I'm Rangers. I would like to see Glasgow United, although I have to say Celtic are a fabulous team. But then, so are Rangers. So, you know, it's poor very much. I always remember an old firm game. I was caught climbing over the wire. The policeman said, what do you think you're doing? So climbing over the fence, he went, go back until the end of the game. So only teasing. Uh, so there you are. Craig Johnson's watching. The very wonderful Craig Johnson. Dinky do to you, Craig. I say, lovely to have you with us. Rimmer Pasiti is watching in Australia. You're in Australia, Remy? And uh, I would imagine, what time are you exactly at the opposite end? Is it coming up to 11 o'clock in the morning? Rimmel, uh, let's know what's what. And uh, who else have we got? I think May never campaigned as hard as she expected a landslide. Yes. Um, who says she parked her bus in my garage, says Gordon Sterling. Who are we talking about, Gordon? Are we talking about the Lady of the Lake or, or whatever's going on here? I want to talk to you about the, guard, the gardeners, Gordon. I think you sent me an answer and it sort of disappeared into the midst of everything else. The social, My social media, as you can probably guess, goes absolutely bananas. It just goes bananas all the time. And I'm thoroughly enjoying experimenting with it. Now, if we get some more uh, subscriptions, can you actually do that? Can you go on to YouTube, Scotty McClure's YouTube channel, and click subscribe, every single one of you? Uh, because uh, that would give us another platform. Good morning, Scotty. It's coming up for 6 a.m., says Rimmel. So there we are. So quite a difference. It's not a full 24 hours. It's 6 a.m. in the morning. And this wonderful man has got the decency to tune in to Scotty McClue live on Facebook Live. First thing in the morning at 6 a.m. in Australia. Uh, I think that's tremendous, wonderful stuff. Now, how are we doing for time? Five minutes to go, uh, four minutes to go. Can we have a share, please? Share, 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 share. Before you pack up, please don't pass me by on the other side with the GoFundMe. Right? A quid? Here's what's to happen. Here's the score, right? It's minimum one pound. It's maximum one billion pounds. Brackets per day, close brackets. So you can put as many pounds in as you like. If you're putting a billion pounds in, you can only do it once a day. If you want to put another billion pounds in to Scotty McClure's GoFundMe, you have to wait until the next day. Okay? So that's you told. I know you billionaires are not used to being told, but that's you's all told. Not a problem. Um, plans for tomorrow, Scotty, says Robert. You've got plans for tomorrow, Robert, or I've got plans for tomorrow. I shall be taking cognizance. I mean, I've got uh, a very, very maxed day planned already, but I shall be taking cognizance of what's been happening politically this week and uh, what lies in store for the future. Um, if any of you want um, after-dinner speeches, if you want motivational speeches, if you want your business sorted out, you want me to advertise for you, lend my well-known voice to your product, do let me know. Get in touch with Scotty McClue. Celtic, great choice, says Steve Burrows. Uh, fantastic stuff. Great show, Scotty, says Steve. Absolutely. Listen, you guys, it has been a fantastic show tonight. Wonderful. All of these shows have just got better and better and better and better. But tonight has been absolutely spectacular. Your responses have been amazing. Lovely to have every single one of you with us tonight. Absolutely tremendous. And remember, share, share, share throughout the whole week. Random shares. Go on to Scotty McClure, random share. Go on to PayPal, paypal.me forward slash Scotty McClure. Go on to GoFundMe, gofundme.com forward slash Scotty hyphen McClure. Don't forget the hyphen. Stick in a fiver. And let's see if we can keep things going. Thanks for the show, Scotty. Dinky do the news of John O'Rourke. Not at all, John. A great privilege. 
And a pleasure, I say. Night, night, dinky do, my good friend Scotty, says Robert Devlin. Dinky do to you, Robert. Lovely to have you with us tonight. And um, I'd better let you get on with your work. Tell Alberto I am asking for him. He is a fine fellow, and thank you for everything that you have done for us. And uh, Michael McGuigan, two big thumbs up. I say big thumbs up to you, Michael McGuigan, and dinky do. Right. Push off time for Scotty McClue, Carol McNamara. Lots of love to you, Angel. Bless you from the other side of the bar. He dance. And uh, we shall say, have a great week. Have a fantastic time. If George Mullins watching, then I'm about to sing. So uh, get your uh, get your earplugs in. Good night, says Ron Stewart. Dinky do, Ron. And good night to you. And thank you for everything, for all your generosity. This is Scotty McClue saying, Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody, of we Tarzan, au revoir, and a cheerio. Good night, all. Have a gorgeous week. Scotty McLean has left the building. Dinky-doo!